interview you for my YouTube channel? Um, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I have five minutes. I gotta be going after that. But five minutes is fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm a foot photographer, so it's about your feet. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna interview you, ask you questions about your feet, how you like your feet. Because so I teach other foot photographers how to push strangers and uh, deal with like a mental health aspect of it. Oh, okay. So yeah. So, alright. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so what just happened just now? Actually, let me face you. Can you face me this way, against the sunlight? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, it's much better. Okay. All right, so what just happened just now? Hmm? What just happened just now? What just happened? Yeah, how did we get to this point? Um, you just came to me. I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee right there by the skate park. Yeah. And what did I ask you? Something about foot interview. Yeah. How did you, <laughs> how, how did you feel when I uh, approached you? Was your um, initial usually reaction? I feel like everyone would be disgusted because it's feet. Yeah. But I used to dance, so I'm all about the feet. Um, it's like, yeah, pretty much the thing. What type of I'm dance? Not. Ballet. Ballet. So, yeah, so something I'm not like uncomfortable with. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, have you ever been complimented about your feet? Um, in the dance world, yeah, but not just randomly strangers to get your feet like. Got now. Okay, so yeah. no man has ever said, "Oh, you have pretty feet. You have cute feet." Uh, no. No. Okay. No. How would you feel if a man gave you a compliment about your feet? Um, I would be weirded out. I would think that they would have a foot. Um, it's not something you look at usually. Mm -hmm. Um, if yeah, yeah, I'd like we'd be walking down the street kind of thing. Why yeah. would you be weirded out? Why weird? Um. That's a really good question because it's like you would you would say to someone you have a nice smile and it's like okay that's that's normal you have mm -hmm. nice feet you would think that they're creepy that's a that's a good point um it's just, I think the world we're brought up in the culture it's like but that's the what you come up with right away okay. yeah yeah but again like. That's if it's a male to female interaction. Mm -hmm. If I'm in a dance studio with my dancers, you know, my friends, yeah. and I tell them I really love your feet, it's a whole different context. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it depends on context. It is. Context. Yeah. Do you get pedicures? I don't actually. You don't? Okay. No, I don't usually get pedicures because they get shipped away when you're wearing um, when you're wearing point shoes. Okay. And I just never got to that habit. Yeah. Okay. I wish you had said yes because I always bring up the fact that. Women get their feet done, they get their hands done. You know, you beautify your feet. Women in general, they do. But then when a man like compliments you on your feet, a common reaction is it's kind of weird, you know? No, that's the irony. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You know? Yeah. So, it's okay. so true. Yeah. Right. So, how would you feel if a guy like really was interested in your feet, like want to give you a foot massage? You like foot massages? I do like foot massage. If you want to give you a foot massage, kiss on them, smell on them, how would you react to that? In a non COVID world, if I'm friends with this guy, go for mm -hmm. it. If it's a stranger, come up to me and that's the first thing they ask, obviously, I think anyone would be weirded out. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, if you knew the person. Yeah, I, I would receive it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you said. If they're if good you, at it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If you were friends with them, like, okay, what would it take? How long would it take for you and the friendship to be comfortable with that? Do you think? Um, definitely where we are close enough, we. We've hugged. I know. Mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't do it with like a stranger that I've just met. Um, yeah, even if it's in a non-COVID time. Mm -hmm. um, we need to know about the person though, in order to be comfortable. Yeah, I feel like I would be more comfortable then touching like my shoulders or my neck rather than my feet. Um, Why is weirdly. that? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Still part of your body. It's still part of my body. Mm -hmm. And my feet are. They're not as ticklish, but I, I don't, that's a good, these are good questions. <laughs> yeah. Mm. The feet are actually, yeah, very sensitive. Like. Did you say you are tic ticklish? I'm a, I am a little bit ticklish, but not as ticklish as other people. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. so you're not that ticklish, but still the idea of someone touching your feet is different from someone touching your shoulder, or giving you a back massage or yeah, like feet hugging like, you. It's like, you know, in Eastern culture, you wash your feet. Your feet are always dirty. You know, you mm -hmm. don't want people to touch your feet. Right? You have the whole 
Christian ideology of washing your disciples' feet, mm -hmm. you know, and it's in, it's a very intimate part, actually, mm -hmm. and I feel like that kind of is carried through our culture. Um, yeah. So you're a Christian? I am. So from a Christian perspective, you said the uh, disciples used to wash people's feet as what? Where Jesus washed the disciples' feet. Jesus yeah. washed the disciples' yeah. feet. What was the uh, intention behind that? Um, humility. Humility. And yeah, like, um, to, right, you come in, you don't, you know, show off. You, yeah, you, you, I cannot find my words right now. So the you, feet are the lowest part of the human body. By you, by a person, giving a, I guess, a foot bath to another person, it's kind of like you're humbling yourself before that person, showing them that. Right, you know, you're touching they're the dirtiest part of them, mm -hmm. the most, I guess, neglected part where there's sand, there's you know, um, dust and stuff, and you're cleaning it for them. So it's an act of like servitude. Okay. Like, you know, uh, even in Chinese culture, you take off your shoes, mm -hmm. you know clean your feet and even in some cultures you know there's a bowl of you know for your feet to be dipped in first mm -hmm. um, yeah it's like a I don't know it's like yeah it's very interesting but you still find it weird for a stranger to want to touch your feet I do because it's again with that context now in mind mm -hmm. it's a very it has a lot of connotations to your feet more so than I feel like there's more intimacy in feet than in hands, actually. Handshake, easy. You do it with in an inter interview. You do it with a stranger. That's a person you can touch. Even back in the day, you used to kiss the woman's hand. Huh? I said, even back in the day, they used to kiss the woman's hand as a greeting. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not in all cultures, because I think in Maori culture, you like rub at the nose or something. But really? anyway, um, it's well, interesting. But yeah, I feel like feet is just a you don't know, high five your feet together with your friend. Right. It's not something you. I have even touched my best friend's foot, and I am a yoga teacher. Yeah, uh, I do massage people's feet mm -hmm. from time to time, but I don't generously. Hey, I'm gonna give you a foot massage versus I'm gonna give you a neck massage. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for that perspective. Can I see your? Can we see your feet? Like, can yeah, you put your sure. feet up here? All right. What size shoe are you? Uh, seven or six and a half. Six okay, and a half, seven. Yeah. Yeah, these are my feet. Yeah. There are types of feet. There's um, a Grecian foot, Egyptian foot, yeah. and a peasant's foot. Which one do you have? The Egyptian one was the second toe is longer than the... The Grecian I'm... foot is where the big toe is like a very tapered foot, uh -huh. where the pinky toe is tiny and then the big toe is long. Peasant's foot is like a square. Okay. I kind of have more of the peasant's foot where my pinky toe is kind of the same length as my toe, so it's like a block. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Is then that... you have the arch too, the different types of arches. Yeah. Has, yeah. You're Chinese? Is that common in the Chinese? Um, the block type of feet? Because I do see... Yeah, yes and no. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like foot binding has changed in a lot of Chinese um, foot arch archetypes. Um, yeah, but I see a lot of different foot structures in my Chinese friends. Do they still yeah. do that? Foot binding? I don't know, to be really? honest. I hope not. Uh, I mean, no shame to they do, but I really doubt it. Do you know like the history behind it? Like, what was the, like? Um, yeah. So lay your legs tiny flat. Steps. So you're, can I see your soles? Huh? Lay your legs flat so I can see your soles. Oh. Can I touch your feet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like that. There you go. Now go ahead. Um, tiny steps in Chinese culture. I mean, it's like it's more feminine, it's more graceful. Okay. Also, it signifies royalty. Yeah. So versus... small feet. Small is, feet, dainty feet is royalty. royalty. Big feet, clumpy feet, is you're working in the field all the day long. Uh, you, need, you need a broad foot to work all day long. God. Yeah. Cross this foot over that one. I see it. So they actually used to just. That sounds very painful. Hmm? I said that sounds very painful to. The way they, I've seen pictures, it's like, wow. Yeah. They're really serious about that. <laughs> I mean, hey, we're getting plastic surgeries and every... How about that? You know, it's a different type of... Putting plastic standards. in your butt and your boobs and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 So who are we to judge them? <laughs> exactly. You're right. Absolutely. Every culture has their... their I used to traditions. have really bad bunions on um, 
my balls and my feet. Used to? How'd you get rid of them? It just gradually went away because I stopped dancing a long time ago. Oh, okay. And I usually, I had a lot of corns here too. It was really, it was ugly ballerina feet. Yeah. And it just kind of all of a sudden kind of Healed. disappeared. Yeah. 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 So that's the history of my feet or the journey. Wiggle your toes. Point your toes. Point your toes, wiggle them. So how did you think of my approach? Um, I like that you ask questions. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that you gave me a, this is what you're expecting in an interview. This is where we're heading into, rather than okay, just an interview mm -hmm. and going straight into it. Um, I think giving me a time frame of how long it'll be and how open I am will be also great to, to add that in. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go now too. Yeah, you said five minutes and it's 12 minutes. Sorry about that. Yeah, but I really just... gotta go. All yeah, right, then. Like, we'll... I lost time. Thank you very much. Topic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any we'll parting words? Um, keep doing what you're doing. I love it. Hi, can I interview you for my YouTube channel? Sure. Can I interview you for my YouTube channel? Oh, sure. Yeah? Okay, cool. It's about your feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a uh, foot photographer. Like, my YouTube channel is about, um, it's about mental health. It's about teaching people how to, like, embrace feet, basically. So I teach guys who are foot photographers how to approach strangers mm -hmm. and get them comfortable with talking about feet. So I'm just going to ask you about my approach. Okay, That's sure. about it. All right, cool. I'll face you this way. <sighs> so you can just face me, be comfortable. Ow, I fixed my hair for this. All right. All right. You ready? Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready whenever. All right. So what just happened just now? Right. Why'd you say yes? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Honestly, I just like conversation, so I don't mind. Okay, cool. How do you feel about your feet? Um, I don't know. I never really think about it. Really? Yeah. Have you ever been complimented? No. No? How often do you uh, show your feet? I never. I always wear socks. Really? Why is that? I like my foot touching the ground. Even in the sand, I wear socks. She's wearing socks right now? <laughs> At the beach? Why, why is that? So why do you know your feet touching the ground? It just it feels gross. It feels gross to you? Yeah. Really? Have you always been like that? Yeah. Ever since a kid? Yeah. Did you have a bad experience like where you walked on something and... No, it's just I don't like the feeling of stuff on my foot. Okay. Like directly onto my foot. Somebody told me, because I interviewed another person, she told me that it might have something to do like when you're a child, if you're held a lot, mm -hmm. uh, it register something in your brain that you don't want to touch the ground a lot so like when you touch the ground it's like a it's like a traumatic experience and you want to be always be held mm -hmm. so that might be that she told me that's because she doesn't like showing her feet as well no, that's <laughs> so I don't know that might be a situation there but um so do you wear sandals often no you never show your feet really no, I just wear socks. always all the time yeah. really okay you're the first person that I've ever met that <laughs> That wears socks to the beach. Wow, that's interesting. How would you feel if um, a guy was interested in your feet? Like he's like, wow, you have pretty. If he saw your feet, okay. he's like, oh, you have pretty feet. How would you feel about I that? I would just be nice, I guess. Be nice. Yeah. How would you feel about it though? Like a, uh, I don't know. I feel complimented. Complimented. Or, yeah. Okay. So, um, what if like he was really into your feet? Like he wanted to give him foot, give you a foot massage, rub uh, on them, kiss on them, uh, smell on them. I don't like. You don't like, so you don't like even a person touching no. your feet. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so is that something like, okay. Okay, that's that's like your little box. Is that something that you would like to, I guess I would say, would you like to experience? No, because I've had it like a massage therapist touch my foot and I don't know. Not at all. I don't like anyone touching my foot. You don't know why? No, it just doesn't feel right. 
it just doesn't <laughs> feel right. Yeah. So you don't like foot massages? No. But a foot massage is something that's designed to be pleasurable. Like with reflexology, there are certain pressure points on your feet yeah. that's supposed to, you know, benefit your but body. There's, there's other ways to foot massage than having someone touch your foot. Like I do is a tennis ball in the middle of my foot and then roll it around. So a tennis ball is okay, but a human hand is not? No, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I really don't even know what to say to that. I'm like speechless. Okay, so, hmm. So you wouldn't let a significant other touch your feet? Not really. I mean, I wouldn't enjoy it, <laughs> but that's not, not really. Do you think you have pretty feet? Um, I'm, yeah, they're okay. You're okay? Yeah. Can I see your feet? No. Without the socks? I don't like taking my socks off. You don't even like taking your socks yeah. off. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So you have like a foot phobia or something? Or a ground or just a touch I think phobia? I just like touching the actual floor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you like to be touched in general? Yeah. I don't mind it. It's just my feet are like a no. Wow. Yeah. You can't give me any explanation to like, no, you I just can't. don't like the feeling? It just doesn't feel right. Like. What about, sh but okay, I understand touch. What about showing your feet? I just, I don't feel comfortable with it. Okay. Uh, well, what's the worst that could happen? Okay. The reason why I asked that because in therapy, uh -huh. do you have a therapist? Not really. Okay. Used to. But used not to. Now. Okay. Well, in dialectical behavioral therapy, they teach you that okay, if you have a fear of something, something that makes you feel anxious, mm -hmm. or something that makes you feel sad, like let's say you have a, a fear of approaching strangers, uh -huh. they'll tell you what's the worst that can happen from it. If there is a threat to your life or a threat to your health, okay, then the fear is rational. But if there's no threat to your health, a threat to your safety, then what's the worst that could happen? You, you know, you might be missing out on opportunities of experiencing a pleasant event. So, like, a foot massage is something that is, like I said, it's designed to be pleasurable. And you say you don't like it, okay, I understand that, but what's the worst that can happen? I, you might, it might feel uncomfortable initially, but Maybe that's something you might be missing out on something that's pleasurable. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I've, what I'm saying? I've, I've had it attempted before. I don't like it. You just don't like it. No. Wow. Like I've, I went through a, like a foot massage for like two, three minutes, and I was like, yeah, no, this is not nice. Okay. What about showing your feet, though? No. <laughs> what's the worst that can happen? Okay. What's the worst that can happen? Tell me. What's the worst that I don't can know, happen? I just no. <laughs> okay. You're just completely closed off to it. I understand. Okay. Okay. What did you think of my approach to you? Like, it's a very comfortable way to talk about it. It is? Yeah. Okay, why is that? Uh, you just seem very, you sound very, like, nice and calm and content about the conversation. It doesn't sound weird. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do you have any, um, recommendations, suggestions, or modifications, critiques to my approach? How I can make it better, or? Uh, no, I feel like you did it the right way. You ask every question and you think about everything you're saying, like, to further out explain what's happening okay. throughout the conversation. So yeah, that's All right. a pretty good way. Yeah, but we, I failed at least <laughs> by getting to show your feet. Can we see your feet with the socks on? Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Okay, we can at least see the outline and everything. That's you have a good, <laughs> yep, lay your one foot out. You look like you have a good arch. Wow, that's a, mm. <laughs> You could be walking on gold, but... <laughs> She doesn't want to show her feet. Okay, well, okay, any parting words? Um, don't touch my feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Okay. That's it then. Well, thank you very much for your okay, time. Enjoy you. the rest of your day. Enjoy your day. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>
excuse me, Lou, can I uh, interview you for my YouTube channel? It's about your feet. Yeah. Say again? Oh, it's gonna be your whole. It's just the feet. Yeah. <laughs> if I can't, I can't talk to you about your feet. You can, but that's uh, that's gonna be difficult to edit. <laughs> I hate doing that. <laughs> well, I can. What is this in regards to? What's your project? So, about? my YouTube is about. It's kind of like about mental health, okay. and it's also about foot photography. I teach other foot photographers how to approach strangers okay. and get them to become foot models. Basically, that's it. Cool. And then um. I get the reactions from the strangers to see how, that's why I want to get your face and everything, to see how you react to it from a psychological aspect, to okay. see how you cope with uh, a guy that's into your feet, basically. Are you a sociologist? No, no. This is my, my therapist actually gave me this idea oh, in order okay. to be more social and, you know, get out of my comfort zone. So I can just take pictures of your feet, no face. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question though? I'm so curious. Just about like, um, what do you think about your feet? Basically, I mean, real simple questions. Like, okay. So, you cool with that? Okay. All right, cool. Okay. I'm glad. All right. Be like 10 minutes. Huh? I said be like 10 minutes. 10 Which, minutes? Well, five, 10 minutes, okay. depending on how the questions go. Right. So, what just happened just now? Uh-huh. And what was your first reaction to it? How did you feel when I approached you? Comfortable. Comfortable? Yeah. Okay. I was curious, actually. You were curious. Now, you said no to the interview initially. Yeah. Why is that? Um, I don't like interviews. You don't like interviews? Why not? No, it's a little bit uh, uncomfortable, uneasy. Un 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 unmasking, you could say. Unmasking. Okay. So why did you say yes, then? So what was it about the reason being that made you say yes? Your calmness and your questions. My what? Your calmness and approach. Oh, my calmness and approach. Okay. What about it made you feel? Uh, soothing and comforting. Soothing and comforting. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> All right. So um, what do you think about your feet? I love them. You love them? <laughs> Really? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, grounding with the earth. Yeah. Grounding with the earth. Do you think you have pretty feet? Uh, for myself? Yeah. <laughs> for yourself, yeah. Get this angle. So why do you think you have pretty feet? Oh, pretty, not necessarily pretty feet. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're very strong. Very they strong? Walk a lot. <laughs> you walk a lot? Yeah, they've traveled a lot. Okay. Have you ever been complimented? Yeah. Yeah? From who? regards to my feet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually. You have? From yeah. men or women? Both. From both? Yeah. What do they say? Um, they say they're quite dainty and lovely. Dainty <laughs> and lovely. Are Let's they dainty? See. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. You got good symmetry. I like how, uh, yeah. There's something about when the toe kind of protrudes out like that. Oh, yeah. That's hereditary. Well, your toe's up? That's hereditary? <laughs> That's what they say. Oh, yeah? Okay. So how do you feel when a, a man particularly compliments you about your feet? It's quite nice, actually. It's quite nice. Yeah. You like it? Yes, I do. I okay. Any Makes you any feel... Any compliment. <laughs> any compliment. Okay. What if a guy was like really into your feet? Like he wanted to give you a massage? Oh, with a fetish? Definitely go for it. <laughs> really? Really? Why is that? Why is that? Why are you open to it? Yeah. Oh, because I love massages. Who doesn't? You love massage. What about kissing on your feet, smelling on your feet, and those things? Well, not necessarily. Just like a stream. A true guy with the foot's like, he only gets off the feet and that's it. Okay. So I'm talking about a guy who just likes women's feet, but, you know, likes other things as well. Oh, so not that extreme. Oh, oh that's appreciated. Okay, so you would be open to it then? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, just the sense of touch. You like the sense of touch? Yes. Even when it comes to your feet? Yes, the sensation. I just okay. interviewed five minutes ago a woman who's complete opposite. She wears socks to the beach. She hates being grounded to the earth. Like, it's, she doesn't know why. I asked her why. I tried to probe her as to why she felt that way. Like, was it something from childhood? She doesn't know. She does not like showing her feet. She does not like not wearing socks. <laughs> Complete opposite. I was like, wow, you know, people are so different. So you're open to it, though. 
Yeah. To each his own, right? To each his own, right. Okay, so um, that's good to know. How did you get to this point in your life where you're open to, you like to touch and things like that? Oh, always as a child, I used to walk barefooted in the woods. Okay. So you're outdoors even? Yes. Okay. Awesome. How did you think of my approach to you? Uh, what did you think of my approach? Well executed. Well executed? Yeah, I think so. What about it was made it well executed? Uh, Okay. Is there any uh, recommendations, suggestions, modifications I can make? Not Critiques? Know, you'll, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Okay. Awesome. Can we see the bottoms of your feet? Sure. All right. Awesome. Cool. Smash your toes down, like make like a fist. There you go. <laughs> so how do you feel right now about this interview? I don't know. I'm actually curious what the the end result is. The end result is it's going on YouTube. Yes, you have to tell me about your channel. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> right, so uh, what did you think when I explained to you my channel, like the, its objective, what did you think about that? Uh, let's see. I guess it's interesting to see the psyche of the individual who, who has these, how should I say, well, say, as you say, but mm -hmm. uh, appreciation for certain parts of the body. Right, right. So, Hmm, how should I say this? How do you feel most people are in regards to this type of... At first I could see how they could be a little bit standoffish. Why? Um, because the relation of teens and kids kind of go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. The word play of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about people who don't like their feet being touched? Or just like anything regarding their feet? Uh, what do you think, where did that come from, do you think? Oh, it's sort of from childhood, definitely. From childhood? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Someone. How comfortable they can get with themselves, you know? Yeah. Um, but little by little, people tend to change over the course of the lifespan, so mm -hmm. I don't see maybe at the end of their, their days, they'll end up touching the earth without any socks. Right, because I, ex I explained to um, the previous lady, in mental health or like in therapy, like in dialectical behavioral therapy, they always ask you if you have like a fear of something, anxiety to something, what's the worst that can happen? You know, if there is a threat to your life or a threat to your health, okay, then the fear is rational. Mm -hmm. But like, foot massages are designed to be pleasant. You know, releasing, comforting. Exactly. So, but she's not open to it at all. She just doesn't want it. You know. And I asked her, like, you know, is that something you would like to change? I mean, uh, that's a box that you live in. But would you actually want to leave that box? She's like, no. Very comfortable in that box. Yeah. Okay. So you think it's programming that got her to that point, maybe? Um, just the comfort zone, her nature and nurture. Nature versus nurture. Okay. Surroundings. Okay. Her experiences. Her genes. Her post-traumatic disorders where something happens to you in a certain part of your body and you don't want to be touched. Right. So it's understandable. And it's something in the subconscious. Oh, everything's in the Right. Everything in the Okay. All right. Well, thank you for this interview. Can you hold your feet up one more time? Can I touch your feet? Good. Okay. Let's see. Yep, they're soft. I know. I just got them done. Oh, pedicure? <laughs> That's something. You got a pedicure done oh, recently? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're really nice. Another one. What size shoe are you? Slice seven, put your foot, foot down, point it down. Oh. Yeah, like that. Slice seven. This one again. You do the type of sports, dancing? <laughs> I'm on my feet a long time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah? They've got some miles. <laughs> some miles? They've got some miles. Miles, kilometers. It's called scouting sessions. Scouting sessions? Yeah, scouting sessions. Wow. Started two months ago and it's really progressing. It's doing very well actually. What do your feet smell like? No? Yeah. Salty. Salty? <laughs> 
Can I smell them? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Well, go right ahead. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, so much sunlight. There we go. Yep. Let's see. Peppermint. How how was this experience for you? Interesting. Interesting. Really. Okay. Yeah. Any parting remarks? Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, well, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day. You're very All right, take care. <laughs>
Yeah, you sure. Got you. Someone did my toes, so they're they are actually um they're that was supposed to be a flower, but I ruined it. Uh huh. Um, yeah, they don't, don't look really bad. Where's the? Uh, I don't see any. My pinky toe is like gone. <laughs> Let me see. Like, it's just hiding below the other foot. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't really like. They're just like squished. They're squished up from soccer. Let's have, say the like, other one. Than, keep like... your keep your socks off. Oh. Just put it on your shoe. My shoe? Just put your foot on your. Don't put your oh, foot on okay, the ground. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Oh. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah. I just the have other a foot. Bigger foot than most women. So What's your size? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Face me this way, diagonal. This way. Yeah. Nine and a half? Yeah. It's not bad. How tall are you? Five five. Five five, nine and a half. It's a little. It's, it's a good proportion. A size. You look proportionate though. I like the uh, arch. You have a good arch. Can I? Can you hold your feet up? Is it okay if I touch your feet? Yeah, go for it. Okay. You have really pretty feet. I mean, they can use a pedicure. If you get a pedicure, they're nice. I don't understand why people would insult you. Yeah, bend your toes down. I think they're nice. I've seen a lot of feet hold before. Yeah, I think they're nice. Very nice. Want to pass? <laughs> yeah. Everybody sees. It just sounds like. Like when you say music, yeah, it rolls off the tongue off. real nicely. Yeah. Put your tongues down. Yeah, it really does roll off the tongue really nicely, but we well, have yeah, really pretty feet. I'm happy Someone... Get those pedicures, man. Why not? <laughs> Can I smell your feet? You want to smell yeah. Them? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I should be charging you for this. Why? So, what just happened just now? Keep your fit, feet on your shoes for me. Okay. Go ahead. You sniffed my feet. <laughs> Why did you allow me to do that? Because I thought that it would make you happy. Really? You, you seemed really interested, so I figured it didn't hurt me, so why not? Okay. Wow. So you always been like that? Yeah. You're, nice, you're the type of person that likes to make other people happy? Yeah. Okay. It's very interesting. How did you feel about the whole experience? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad? It's like a bit strange because we're in public. Mm -hmm. But other than that. What's so strange about it being in public? Like, did anything happen that make it feel no, weird that it was in public? I think that, like, people are just not used to seeing that in public. Because mm -hmm. it is a bit more, like, intimate, I guess. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, people do, like, whole hands of us. <laughs> people spoon yeah. on the grass. Or, like, making out in public. <laughs> It's yeah. not something typical that you'd see, but I don't know. But nobody really said, I mean, those two no. elder ladies. <laughs> yeah, they said, they made a comment, but yeah. it wasn't like a negative comment. Right, right. It's kind of just like pointing it out. Okay. But again, like it wasn't doing any harm to them either, so what are they going to say? Right. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just made a comment and just kept on moving. They even laughed. Okay. Do you ever like uh, cuddle? You ever heard of like the cuddling business, like the spooning business? Yeah. Are you into that? I don't get paid for my services, but I feel like I meet people a lot to do that. You do what? You meet? I, I meet people a lot to do that. Oh, okay. Why do you ever consider getting into like the uh, business of getting services? Maybe, yeah. I just feel like it kind of takes away the whole like when you start monetizing things that are like meant to bring people joy mm -hmm. it kind of takes away from the fact that like this is not something I'm doing out of the graciousness of like my heart and like I want to be around you it's like I'm here because it's a job not because I actually want to be here and part of cuddling is like the reason why it's so good for you and it releases so many like good hormones and like things like that is that it's because the person doesn't have to be there but they're spending their time out of their day to be there with you and present I think putting a price on that is a little like, devaluing it. Facebook. <laughs> I know it's Kobe, but how did you think of my approach? I, th I thought it was okay. Like, it didn't seem too intimidating. Mm -hmm. You were pretty nice about it. Okay. About it. All right. 
that didn't make me feel like I had to say yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess I was a bit more open to it. Do you have any recommendations or critiques, suggestions of how I can make my approach better? Um, no. No? Okay. I don't think so. All right. Any parting words? doing what you're doing on a normal basis as long as people aren't weird about it. <laughs> yeah. I think the moment you get weird about it, people are like turned off. Yeah. Okay. So.